Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, if you watched the previous one, that was me unboxing the uh, brand new Wittern 3589. And uh, here we are, same exact day, probably like five minutes after I finished recording that video. And we're gonna go ahead and install my uh, Nyax VPOS Touch credit card reader onto this trusty old vending machine right here. Uh, so first things first, uh, we're gonna set that back down in that box. And what we have to do is we have to get this uh, coin mech out. That way we can access, let me see if I can go around. Uh, we gotta be able to access that plate right there, which that's where the, uh, the credit card reader is going to go. So first things first, we gotta go ahead and unscrew those, uh, the coin chute little screws. And uh, then I guess we'll be able to have access. I kinda got the directions open to see how to remove the, the coin mech. This is the first one where I actually have to fully unscrew the coin mech. Usually it was on a tray that I can slide in and out. That's how it is on my 3566 machine uh, from Wittern. But I guess this one doesn't have a tray. It's just actually screwed in. So let's get started on that. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, so, so far um, I've taken out there's two screws right here and here. And then I've got this one that's right in front of my finger right now. Got that one out and I'm working on getting this one out now. So I believe once I get that out, I'll be able to take the whole mechanism down, I guess. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And I did unplug the, the coin acceptor as well um, from the actual machine or from the bill acceptor. All right, so we got this out. And this is the little chute. So once you put your coins in, this is the chute that it goes down into and into the mechanism. And it sits in there like this. And uh, got that out. And it's looking like I'll have access to this nut back here, which I don't have light for you guys. Let me get that. As I was saying, it looks like we'll have access to that nut that is right in front of my fingernail right there. Um, and then we should be able to pull the entire mechanism out. So let's see how that works out for us. All right, guys, so quick little update. I got a chair because uh, I started to get frustrated and it was hurting my back bending over at this angle. But anyways, um, I don't know how long it's been. It's been like 20, 30 minutes since I recorded that last clip. But uh, I've been sitting here, I have been sitting here getting frustrated because I'll be up completely upfront with you guys. When it comes down to sockets and all that stuff, I have no idea what the heck I am doing. Um, like trying to convert and to metric and whatever the other system is, I have no idea. But I've been using an 1130 seconds, like when I took off the first screw, I used an 1130 seconds uh, like socket. And it worked for the right nut that was on there, whatever that thing is called. It worked. Come over to the left hand side once I got that coin thing off, the coin chute, and it didn't work. So I was like, hmm, I've been sitting there trying all the other ones around 11.30 seconds. So I called my friend, I was like, hey bro, I don't have a pair of needle-nose pliers yet, but do you have something I can borrow? He was like, yeah, sure, Kurt, sure, come up to the house. So I was like, hold on. I was like, bro, help me out a little bit. Um, and he was like, hey, wait a second, try the, uh, the metric system or whatever it's called. So I Googled it. And I grabbed my other toolbox and I grabbed a nine and sure as shit, it worked. So nine millimeter or whatever this is, not just a nine. I don't know if it's a millimeter or whatnot, but throw that on there and it'll work on the Wittern 3589. Fun fact. So with that being said, we got the two screws off. Let me put that back up here. That way we don't lose that bad boy. And uh, we got the two screws off, which let me grab our flashlight. And uh, we're gonna, we should be able to just pop it right off now. And by the way, there was two plugs that were going into the, uh, to the thing. There was one right here, and then there was another one right here. The screws were up here, and then I, I was thinking it was gonna be somewhere in this general area. Where's the flashlight at? Somewhere in this general area. But no, it turns out the shit is all the way down the fuck here to be able to get the whole bracket out. So. That's where we're at. We're about to be able to pull the whole fucking thing out and um, be able to have access to that fucking plate. Maggie's over here like, what the fuck? We got the card reader on and uh, somewhat sturdy, but 
I believe Nyax might have sent me a bad reader because you can see like there's a little bit of a gap right there, but whatever, we're, we're gonna make it uh, work. And uh, anyways, we shaved down uh, some of the uh, the edges of the uh, card reader. And I got the card reader kind of mounted in there, Gary rigged, Gary rigged, Jerry rigged in there. And uh, we gotta run the wires and connect them all up. Um, but as you can see, I got shavings everywhere. We had to shave it down because we couldn't get all the screws to get on there permanently. And then I went ahead and mounted it, mounted the entire coin mech back to the, uh, to the bracket. And, uh, that way it makes it easier. I can just put everything back in as one. But, uh, we're going to go ahead and get the, uh, coin mech put back together. And then we're going to throw everything back in there. And, uh, I'll see you guys once we get that done. Alrighty guys, so here we are. It is 10 o'clock at night. It's 9.59. Um, pretty much got everything back together. And uh, yeah, so this is what it looks like. Of course, back to square one pretty much. And you always, no matter what job you do, you always have some screws left over. I got two total screws left over. Don't know where the hell they came from. Uh, so we're just gonna leave them right there. There's a little lip right here in the door, so I'm just gonna keep them there. Um, yeah, everything fits back in perfectly. I had to pull this whole bracket out because I couldn't... There's a, another lip on the bottom of this, the uh, the little frame piece right there, um, that uh, it needs to sit. The So there's one and there's two, and the, the piece that's right here needs to be in between the two of those. So I had to pull everything back out and kind of get it repositioned. That way I can get those two screws back in. So it was a learning experience for me. Um, hopefully it's a learning experience for you if you have the Wittern 3589. And uh, yeah, like I said, this, it was a, I feel like it's a bad design, but uh, cause I like my 3566 where I can just literally pull the tabs on the, the drawer for the uh, coin mech and it comes right out and just unplug the wire of course. And I have access to my card reader right there. But uh, I'll show you what the front of the machine looks like now with the card reader on there. Uh, Nyax POS touch. I'm gonna go ahead and reach back here and hit that trusty old power switch. Power up the machine. It has power and uh, yeah, we'll uh, end the video right there. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to click that like button. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, me restocking my vending machines, installing the vending machines, installing credit card readers into the new vending machines that we get, click that subscribe button. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button as well. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. And uh, we'll see you next time. Deuces. We'll be seeing you.